master. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and we in the making. Amen. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Jesus, who is everywhere present, and do us all things, treasure and blessings, and giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our soul, so good so, so, so. It is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages.
Please let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God.
let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. to the Lord. For holy art thou, our God, who rest in the saints, and unto thee we ascribe, Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thou shalt make me to destroy gladness with 
Roman Catholic Roman Catholic University to turn my face away from my sin, to blot out all my faults, created me a new heart of God and a new right spirit in me, cast me not away from the presence of Saint God, but with my Holy Spirit in me, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and thy presence of spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from bloodthirstiness, O God, God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given thee. With full burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a willing spirit. A heart that is broken for the God shall not despise. Give me, O Lord, thy good pleasure and desire on that the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and full burnt offering. Then they shall also go to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Pray for the universe, rejoice, for God has appeared in the Jordan, for the never-ending ages of the ages. Amen. Pray for the universe, rejoice, for Christ has appeared in the Jordan. Victorious martyrs, 
of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who shone in the ascetic life of St. Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us.
the fair Tokos, and the mother of the light, let us honor and magnify in song.
Bless Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. In this holy house, and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God entered therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, for the Venerable Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, and for their quick release from captivity, safe return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States, for all civil authorities, and for armed forces everywhere, especially for Peter, Joshua, Ronnie, Adam, Benjamin, Andrew, Thaddeus, Skylar, Madison, and Cecil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, for those under persecution for the faith, for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Call into remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee our due, O glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
mercy on us and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to 
the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
of God is appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions, and to live sober, upright, and godly lives in this world, awaiting our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity, and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let, when no one, let no one disregard you. 
But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, by the washing and regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Peace be to thee that read it. And to thy spirit. Thousands and thousands of years in the making, 
as the light of God's self-revelation slowly grows over the centuries through the prophets of Israel and through the, you know, the calling out of various Moses and so forth and God revealing himself and in the Psalms revealing that he has a son who sits at his right hand and revealing his Holy Spirit. But here they are manifested. Really an occasion and God chose a royal palace surrounded by Hollywood stars and celebrities. Right? No. Quite the opposite. God chose the most desolate place. A wilderness and a baptism for sinners. You know, no one would be out there who is great and noble and mighty and you'll say worthy of this revelation. No. And not only did God reveal himself to the most humble and broken of all people, those sinners who went out to be baptized by John, but in the person of the eternal Son of God, he also identified with them. He didn't just show himself, reveal himself, he entered into the experience of them. Jesus accepted the baptism of sinners, which clearly he did not need, in order to sanctify that baptism, to sanctify that water, that it might become for us the new birth from above of water and the Spirit. You have water, you dip a man in it, what do you get? You get a ring around the lake, you know, depending on when that man bathes. You have water, and you dip God in it, and you get holy water. That's what you get. So God sanctified these waters. He made them among the first things that are redeemed. We know the whole world, all creation will be redeemed at one point, restored, unified, filled with God. But it's already begun. Bits and pieces here and there. Sometimes in the oil that we use to anoint the sick. Sometimes in the bread and the wine that becomes our communion with God. And most certainly in the wine that is blessed this morning to become holy. That we might anoint ourselves. That we might sprinkle it in our homes. That we might drink it and so forth. And so, we are reminded again of the kindness of God, that he did not dispense this to the kings and princes of the world, to the wealthy and the noble, in places where ordinary people could not go, but he dispensed, revealed himself towards sinners. The unexpected love that God shows, the incredible humility, you know, for us who only deserve his wrath, he pours out his love. How can we, the unworthy, ever return to great mercy or thanks in any way for what has been shown to us? And perhaps I think the best way, the way that the fathers often allude to, is for us to consciously imitate the humility of God in our own life. That is the proper way to thank the humble God who saved us. Certainly not through our pride, who are not, if not through our striving and willfulness and arrogance toward one another. This is not pleasing to God and not a proper way to thank Him, but to imitate His humility. We can imitate the humility of God by thinking of ourselves less. You know that old saying, and I love to quote, the humble man doesn't think less of himself. The humble man thinks of himself less. We think of ourselves all the time, we are always going to be unhappy. Always, always. Only when we free ourselves from that prison to think about others, their needs, how we can serve them, do we find the happiness, the joy of God. And this is the invitation of God. For God doesn't sit up there and say, what will make me happy today? Oh, you know, whatever. No, it's how do I love, how do I serve? How do I deny myself? He puts, our concerns above his own. Is this not what God does? He sacrifices for our sake. He pays the price for our sins. He accepts suffering and death that we may live. Can we not imitate in some small way at least this love of God by bearing the burden of forgiveness or 
mercy to others. If we cannot, even in a small way, imitate the love and sacrifice of God, then we make ourselves the opposite of humility and the opposite of God. And so people do. By our daily repentance, we enter ever more into the communion of love with God. Repentance, remember, is not feeling bad or guilty or sad for our sins, although such feelings may lead to repentance, but they are not repentance. Repentance is obedience to God, living for God, following the way of Christ, putting aside our self-will and the sins which so easily entangle us to live for God rather than living for ourselves. Without repentance, that is to say, without obedience to God, there is no humility. Humility and repentance go together, and without one you don't have the other. The unrepentant man is always filled with pride, and once again makes himself into the opposite of God. On this day we remember the great act of condescension and mercy, the Son of God revealed, and being baptized as a sinner for our salvation. On this day we wash the church and sprinkle us all as a sort of cleansing and renewal of our own baptism, and hopefully a renewal of our repentance and our effort to become humble before God as well. You know, our God is mistakenly, unmistakably, the God of second chances. So may we fully avail ourselves of every opportunity He gives us to find our true life of repentance and humility in Him. To the glory of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
May the Lord God remember his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
time of our life in peace and repentance for a Christian ending to our life, blameless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. That with one accord we may
Give thanks unto thee and glorify thee, the only true existing God, and offer unto thee with a contrite heart and spirit of humility this our reasonable service. For thou art he that hath graciously bestowed upon us the knowledge of thy truth, and to us sufficient to speak of thy mighty acts, to make all thy praises to be heard, or to tell of all thy wonders at every season. O Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, both visible and invisible, who sit upon the throne of glory, and beholdest the depths, who art without any invisible, incomprehensible, uncircumscript, immutable, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, our hope, who is the image of thy goodness, the seal of equal time, in himself showing forth thee the Father, the living word, the true God, the wisdom before all ages, the life, the sanctification, life, the true life, through whom the Holy Spirit was manifested, the Spirit of truth, the gift of adoption, the pledge of an inheritance to God, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life giving power, the fountain of holiness, by who enabled every rational and intelligent creature to serve thee and send up to thee perpetual praise for all things are thy servants, yea, angels and archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many I chair have praise thee. Round about thee stand the six wings seraphim, and with twain they cover their feet, and with twain their feet, and with twain they fly, continually cry out to one another without ceasing praises, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, 
the savior of the storm tossed, the haven of the voyager, the healer of the sick. He not only saw all things through all men, but thou who knows every man, his condition, his dwelling place, and his name. He lived our own Lord in his city and every city and countryside, from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of enemies, and civil war. Among the first be mindful, O Lord, and our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth.
good to be with us this morning. We do have to remind you and, and all of us really that we may only serve this blessed sacrament to those who are participating members of the Eastern Orthodox Church in good faith and in a uh, recent confession and so forth. And we also have a kind of unique situation, you know, we're going to invite and they take a meeting for us, the newly opened baptized yesterday. But she's not going to be served by a priest. She's going to be served by the inmate of her father. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near.
Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power. And forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee be ascribed glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
wisdom. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I would have you not be ignorant 
that all our ancestors were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized to Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual meat and all drank from the same spiritual drink. For they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Be spirit of thee that readeth and to thy spirit Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. This is my spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Immediately he saw the heavens open, and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, Thou art my beloved Son, with thee I am well pleased. of 
their homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That it may become a cleansing of the souls and bodies of all those who in faith draw and partake of it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be made worthy to be filled with sanctification through partaking of this water. By the invisible manifestation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may hearken unto the voice of supplication of some us sinners, and have mercy on us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Today, 
the map of spirit comes to baptism to elevate mankind above. Today the unbowable boweth to his servant to deliver us from slavery. Today we have been we have bought the kingdom of heaven, for the kingdom of heaven hath no end. Today the land and the sea have divided between them the joy of the world, and the world has been filled with rejoicing. The waters saw thee, O God. The waters saw thee and were afraid. Jordan turned back when it beheld the fire of the Godhead coming down and descending into it bodily. Jordan turned back at the beholding of the Holy Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove and hovering over thee. Jordan turned back when it saw the invisible, visible, the Creator incarnate and the Master in the form of a servant. Jordan turned back and the mountains leaped with joy and beholding God in the flesh, and the clouds, beholding in the Jordan the Lord's festival assembly, gave voice, wondering at him that cometh, who is light of light, true God of true God, drowning in the Jordan the death of disobedience, the sting of error, and the bond of hades, granting the world the baptism of salvation. So also I, thine unworthy and sinful servant, as I proclaim the greatness of thy wonders, am encompassed by fear, crying with compunction unto thee, and saying, Great art thou, O Lord, and wondrous are thy works, and there is no word sufficient to him thy wonders. <laughs> To him thy wonder. For thou by thy own goodwill from nothingness has brought all things into being, and by thy mind thus uphold creation, and by thy providence thou dost direct the world. Thou hast fit thee pray in the creation out of four elements. Thou hast crowned the slight circle of the year with four seasons. All the reason that thou power is trampled before thee. The sun raises thee, and the moon glorifies thee. The stars intercede with thee. The light obeyeth thee. The deeps shudder before thee. The water springs serve thee. Thou hast spread out the heavens like a curtain. Thou hast established the earth on the waters. With sand thou hast walled in the sea. Thou hast poured forth the air for breathing. The angelic powers serve thee. The choirs of the archangels worship thee. The many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, as they stand round about in flying, cover themselves in fear before thine unapproachable glory. For thou, the God who is uncircumscribed, without beginning and ineffable, is come down upon earth, and taking on the form of a servant, and being made in the likeness of men. For thou couldst not endure, O Master, because of thy tender mercy, to behold the race of men, beneath the tyranny of the devil. But thou didst come and didst save us. We confess thy grace. We proclaim thy mercy. We conceal not thy beneficence. Thou hast set free the offspring of our nature. By thy birth thou hast been sanctified a virgin's womb. All creation singeth praises unto thee, who didst reveal thyself. For thou, O our God, didst appear upon earth, and didst dwell among men, and didst sanctify the streams of the Jordan. In that thou didst set forth down from heaven thine own Holy Spirit, and didst crush the heads of the servants who lurk there. Therefore, O King, who lovest mankind, do thou now be present, and descend of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Wherefore, O King, who loveth mankind, do thou thyself be present even now? Be the sand of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Therefore, O King, who lovest mankind, do thou thyself be present even now, through the descent of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. And give it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan. Make it a fountain of incorruption, 
a gift of sanctification, a remission of sins, a protection against disease, a destruction of demons, inaccessible to hostile powers, filled with angelic might. And may it be to all who draw them and partake of it unto cleansing of soul and bodies, unto the healing of passions, unto the sanctification of homes, and unto every expedient purpose. For thou art our God, who through water and the Spirit has renewed our nature, grown old through sin. Thou art our God, who with water didst drown sin in the days of Noah. Thou art our God, who by the sea, through Moses, didst set free from slavery to Pharaoh, the Hebrew race. Thou art our God, who didst cleave the rock in the wilderness, so that the water gushed forth, and streams overflowed, and dissatisfied the thirsty people. Thou art our God, who by water and fire to Elias did bring Israel back from the deception of Baal. Do thou thyself, O Master, sanctify even now this water by thy Holy Spirit. Do thou thyself, O Master, sanctify even now this water by thy Holy Spirit. O Master, sanctify even now this water by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant unto all who touch it, anoint themselves therewith, and partake thereof. Sanctification, blessing, cleansing, and health. Say, O Lord, thy servants, our faithful civil authorities, keep them under the shadow of thy shadow in peace. Subdue under their feet every enemy and adversary. Grant them the means of salvation and eternal life. Be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, that were the Presbytery, the Diaconate of Christ, and every priestly order, and all the people here present, together with all our brethren who are absent for a just cause, and have mercy on them and on us according to thy great mercy, that by the elements, by the angels, and by men, by things visible and invisible, by thy all holy name, may be glorified. Together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. Incline thine ear and hearken unto us, O Lord. Disdain to be baptized in the Jordan and to sanctify the waters. Bless us all who, by the bowing of our necks, signify our servitude and make us worthy to be filled with thy sanctification through partaking of this water and being sprinkled therewith. And may it be unto us, O Lord, for health of soul and body. For thou art our sanctification of our souls and bodies, and unto thee do we ascribe glory and thanksgiving and worship. Together with thine unoriginate Father and thine all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
better than you guys are. of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, 
at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet for under Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all <coughs> laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, base of the great, Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, <coughs> of the holy glorious Sorry, I was just thinking back. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> of the holy, glorious, and white, victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God bearing fathers, of St. Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he has pointed to love us and mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.